I invite you to relax and get comfortable. Join me in this discussion of Just Another Theory. Thank you for joining me on Just Another Theory podcast where you can relax and we talk about true crime. There are places on this planet that just the mere mention of the name separates those that know the story from those that don't, such as Avery Road. You could not pay me enough money to walk down Avery Road at night alone, or for that matter, even the day. Another location, the Monon High Bridge, Delphi, Indiana. You either know the story or you don't. Another such place would be a little holler near Rogersville, Tennessee. Down in that little country holler is Ben Hill Road, which has so many stories to tell, depending on who you ask. But it all boils down to one missing child, a five-year-old little girl named Summer Wells. There are many theories on how Summer got gone that day, or even if it was that day. Many feel very strongly that Summer was literally trafficked. And so I thought about this, and I thought, well, if that is true, we need to walk that all the way through and see what that looks like with what we do think we know. And I say we think we know because we really don't know much at all. In this theory where we walk through Summer being actually sold, I feel it's very important to look at those around the family in that neck of woods. And as you know, if you follow this case at all, we have the neighbor across the street named Jody Sue. And Jody Sue was in a relationship with Andy Bernard, Andy B. They lived across the street. And it really bothers me, I feel, when... You know, you you listen to Jody talk, and she's obviously heavily medicated. She's on her channel 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and she's controlling the narrative. Is she a nosy neighbor, or is she somebody we need to pay attention to? Now, interesting enough, she has herself made a claim alleging that Andy was selling or giving drugs to the children on Ben Hill. She made comments regarding other little girls, plural, when we only have one summer over there. And it's interesting, she implied that it was used to, by Candace even, the mother, to sedate Summer or other little girls so that they would not be aware of who was touching, if you follow. And then you got to think about, oh my God, if that is true, then, you know, what all is coming into this picture? What all does that mean? And if you look at some of the footage, there is the exact same type of Jeep that you see in the video of Summer jumping in front of the red for sale barrel in that muddy little dress with the red Subaru parked there. The other vehicle is a yellow vehicle that actually appears to match a vehicle that was parked at Jody Sue's camper recently. Another YouTuber, a fellow creator, actually drove by and filmed it, and Miss Jody Sue was outside by that vehicle. So, this is all supposedly, allegedly, the first sale barrel and summer dancing and being filmed dancing in front of the red, bright red, for sale white letters in front of that barrel, in the rain, and it appears as if Jody Sue could possibly be at that house. And if she is, 
How does that affect our whole theory? Is she the one that's giving the medication out? She would have access to medication because she's being treated for cancer. Where would Andy get all this medicine from his mother, everybody says? But really, if he's selling it, if he's selling it, it would almost seem like he has a source. Right? And Jody Sue's stories don't ever pan out. She goes through all the details of explaining how she witnesses allegedly Summer coming out of the shower with Dawn, the father, right? But yet, she explains she's parked outside in her car, so we would now be able to see through walls like Superman with x-ray vision. I don't think so. It's one thing to suggest that there were drugs being used within the family neighborhood, right? Across the street or road and being exchanged between neighbors. But then to learn that it's being used on children and that the neighbor knew about it the entire time that this child's been missing for over a year and just waits till the last minute to divulge this most important detail. And with that, you have to ask, is she getting scared that this is going to fall back on her? And so she's now throwing Andy under the bus. And so is she really over there at Candace's that day that Summer is jumping and dancing in front of the barrel to be sold? And is Jody Sue supplying the medication as she suggested that her Andy was doing? Was she really the one that was selling the medication so that when that sale happened, the child would be out? Old Tammy Truth Train coming through. So if you really look at the situation we have now, the day before Summer goes missing, Jody Sue at Candace's house, we have Summer in front of the red barrel that says for sale in big white letters, jumping in the rain. We have Jody Sue selling Candace the medication that she's getting from the clinic for her cancer, fully knowing that this is going to be used as a sedative to knock out this child so that touch can happen in a very nefarious way. We have the very next day, Summer goes missing. Poof. Gone. But not without a trace. See, that's where so many people forget. The dog's alerted on Jody Sue's feet. By Jody Sue's own account, the last time she had seen Summer had been days before. It begs the question what kind of tangled web that Jody Sue got herself into that she ended up with that child sent directly on her feet. If Summer OD'd from the medication that was given to her, it would link directly back to Jody Sue's front door and directly back to her clinic where she would have a prescription of said medication due to her cancer treatment. That would indeed be very curious if you looked at the timing. So that would put Jody Sue exchanging with Candace the medication on the 14th when the advertisement's getting made. That would be the red for sale barrel with white letters, summer dancing in the rain. You know, that one. We'd have to have some time, let's give it 24 hours, for the buyer to really triangulate the sale, right? That puts us right on June 15th. And with Jody having such great friends such as Fred Light and other repeat offenders, makes you wonder, is she the dealer that Hunter is actually referring to that texted Candace, it's done? Was Jody Sue setting up the sale of Summer herself? Not only did Jody Sue throw allegations toward Andy being a dealer that did all this nefarious behavior, she also stated something to the fact that 
the milk video with Summer, it could be the reason that she seemed like she was sleeping, implying that it could be medication used on that day. And that video supposedly, allegedly happened on June 15th at 3.09 p.m., just hours before the child is reported missing. What really happened at that Warrior Park? Was that where the transaction with the buyer took place? Was Hunter back up? She drops off Hunter and they can't wake Summer up? Is that why Allie never really got to see her? Was well, because all of a sudden now we have a problem. Did Candace go to Jody Sue and be like, I can't wake her up? The medicine not wearing off? If so, it would only make sense that Jody would try to wake the child by possibly shaking her or putting her hands on her. Of no avail, that could explain why the dogs are hitting directly onto Jody Sue. There was a truck accident that was a red truck in the ditch at the end of the Wells driveway on the morning of June 15th, the same day Summer Wells is reported missing. And in that, Don Wells films quite a bit of that accident with permission but he's in his white work truck later remember he said he had starlink seven alibis that he was in that subaru however what part of the day did don wells go from the white truck to the red subaru my guess is it's when candace and I believe it was Jody Sue that even said she was present at the end of the driveway talking to Candace while Candace was on the phone to Don Wells. At this moment, imagine the panic that sets in when they can't arouse this child. Now, in most situations, the father would say, let's get her to the hospital immediately. What are you thinking? This is a child. But with allegations that we now know in hindsight of S.A. by the father against his own sisters and stepsisters and others, it's possible that Don Wells was very worried in his own right about any autopsy or examination of the child a real possibility to instill that Don did have more skin in the game would be if both women confirmed in a nefarious lie to trap Don into a guilt trip to feel responsible for Summer's death, even more so, would be to lie to him and say that Summer had ingested something that Don himself had bought from Jody Sue for his own nefarious use. Either way, it boils down to at some point we have to switch from the white work truck to the red Subaru. And this is where I also feel that we went from Grandma's truck with Summer at the house into the red Subaru with Summer, meeting Don halfway, where Summer remains in the red Subaru and Don takes over the position of responsible party. Unfortunately, I believe that Don made a very sad choice, and that was to protect himself. And hey, he's proved that he knows all these horrible places where children are abused and trafficked, and he's seen it with his own eyes. So did he simply get rid of Summer that way? You let me know what you think on this theory. But hey, there's a lot more theories out there than this one. This is just another theory. I love you. To the moon and back. God bless you. Justice for Summer Wells.
Salvation. Hey.